Welcome, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans, to Mutant Monday. And today we have Tall Thug and Short Gangster from the Holothon Hall. And before we begin, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future unboxing videos and like this video if you could. Um, that would help me out with the algorithm and keep me making videos. Anyway, these guys were part of Holothon and is now past Holothon. And um, yeah, I'm just getting around to opening up this box now. Unfortunately, I had FOMO and I bought these on eBay um, after Holothon. So I paid a little bit more than what they, uh, I should have. And uh, they're probably still available on Target's website right now. I would not doubt it. Um, so here we go. Short Thug, Tall Thug from Jersey Reds Gang, Short Thug. Tall thug. I love the like just random gangster styles of, of, of this gang. It's just like, yeah, what, what, what are uh, what are some shady looking people look like? On the bottom we have some uh, credits, as usual. And the Teenage Mutant Turtles will go on the top. So let's uh, open this up and see what's in the box. I'm sure a lot of people have had uh, done reviews and unboxing of these guys already. But, uh, oh yeah, here's some product shots from the back and some cross sale. The box is empty. These guys are technically bad guys, so they had the Technodrome insert. Oops, and I'll just set this off to the side. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure many people have already uh, <laughs> opened these guys up, reviewed them, but hopefully um, I'm unique in how I do things. I mainly just open them up right in front of you, and if there's errors, you get to see them right out of the box. And hear my reaction. Especially since I paid more for these than what I should have. All right, the first pack, we're gonna let it, oh, okay. So here we have his hook. He's obviously some kind of 50s gangster. I don't know. These guys are, like I said, they're just like random shady people. Yep, there's a hook, he has a hook. He has an ice hook. He has a bat. You know, some, uh, my life would be better. So there's a bat. Then he has alternate hands. Since he turns into, I don't know, an elephant. I don't, I have no idea what he turns into. I feel like they just like random mutant. So here's his mutated hand. It looks like something from a, from an AI uh, art project. So there's a, uh, that's the same hand, ain't it? No, it's a different one. I guess, oh, this is the, this is a specific hand for the, uh, this thing. That's pretty cool. All right, then he has some uh, just random holding hands, grasping hands. He comes with a closed fist. His alternate head, his mutant head, I guess, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Everyone else is something. He's just, yeah, we all know what to turn him into. I guess he's in, oh, I don't know. Well, there's his alternate head. All right, next up, we'll do the middle section here. I believe these are the uh, short thugs weapons or accessories. Here we have a mallet, a wooden mallet, because that is very accessible in New York. And then we have some chains. These are really heavy chains. 
hefty chains. All right, next up is his mutant parts. Oops. Lucky didn't know that was going to happen. Well, they're not all mutant parts. Here's uh, alternate hands. These are his grasping hands. He comes with closed fists. And here's his mutant head. He is a dog. And here's his oddly colored uh, mutant arms, which they're, I guess, dog paws. Is he really a dog? Is he a sloth? Maybe he's a sloth. Because these look like sloth hands. There's three toed sloth. Yeah, maybe he's a sloth. I thought he was a dog. He... Yeah, we're going with he's a sloth. I don't know if I've ever seen this episode, to be honest with you. I just like the idea of these random mutants from this from this gang. All right, let's get to uh, cracking this open. Um, this guy's face looks like someone I know. Like I swear I've met someone who who has his face. I mean, not exactly, but he's like the cartoon version of him. Like yeah, I, I like I feel like I know this guy, or I've met this guy. Not in this outfit, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> the guy's like in his fifties, but he's in a gang yet. I guess. I mean, I, to me, it looks like he's like old, or like. He just never aged out of the gangster of, of the street gang lifestyle. Then here's the uh, short thug. Um, yeah, like he seems like he's out of out of a, the other guy seems like he's out of a greaser gang. This guy feels like he's out of a like he belongs in a biker bar. Like he's that kind of henchman, that kind of thug. He's completely different. I mean, adjacent, but completely different. Nick of the Woods. It looks like he's gonna fall over. Um... I didn't check his articulation, I'll get to that in a sec. He only has a single jointed elbow. Kind of pretty good articulation for the head. He gets to kick that way, that way, and he can do about that for splits. Single jointed knee. And there ain't a whole lot going on with his, uh, their ankles. His ankles. Can I straighten that out a little bit? Because I hate how he's standing. There we go. I can straighten it out. Yeah. Still gives him a little bit of a weird standing. All right. We'll set him off to the side. At least he can stand on his own. Both of them can stand on their own. He uh, looks like he can do a, some dancing there. Headwise, all the way around, up, down. He can get that far up. I don't know why all these guys can't get get their arms all the way up, but he can do that. He's got a double jointed elbow, so we can do that. I like how gives it like the uh, the noodle elbow the old Mickey Mouse noodle elbow. He's got an ab crunch, but not much of one. You can see the uh, horrible proportions right up his uh, insides there. That's some uncanny valley stuff. Where he's just a tube up until uh, his chest, which is 
shown. Um, let me get that far off the splits back. He can get ooh, only that far, kick that far. A little bit better of a kick. His uh, knee is double jointed. So we can do that. All right. And uh, his boots twist here up top. And we have our little bit of rocker up and down for the boot. So crazy how each of these guys is like a different. It's just a different model. They're not reusing body types. So let's turn these guys into mutants. The thing I like least is popping off heads. Because I'm afraid they are going to break. And if we look. Hmm. Oh, geez, come on, just pop on there. A little bit of twist in. Okay, I think that's on. If not, it's good enough for now. All right, there's his elephant man head. And then this is his right arm. Where does that pop off at? Right there. I really don't know if I want to do that. Uh huh. No, we're not going to do that. I, I'm I'm wussing out right now. So there's him and his elephant head. We might attach that later on. There's the alternate head. Let's get to this guy here. Let's pop off this. I mean, it says this guy is a sloth now. Okay, that popped out pretty nicely. Of course, look, it left some residue. That's paint. It left paint. Why'd you... It's like a semi-gloss, semi-transparent plastic underneath here. So the paint's coming off. All right, so we can put his sloth bits on. This is what makes him eat Monday. Hey, leave a comment below if you uh, have as much stress as I have that these are going to break when you go to remove the heads. Or any part. Oh, all right. Be hoping it's like a huge ball joint, but. I'm not going to force it on camera. So here are our half mutated mutants. <laughs> half mutated thugs. Yeah, um, I'll get soaked in hot water before popping that off. That's all that's to it. Um, I'm not going to break it here. So we have <laughs> this dude. Um, he comes with his alternate head, his alternate hand, arm. Three alternate hands. Odd number. This hook. And a baseball bat. Then we have Sloth Man here, or, or half Sloth. Comes with this 
mutant head. His arms, which you see are getting all uh, fantastically marked up. His hammer, his chains, and two additional hands for holding things. All right, that's what's in today's box. Tall Thug and Short Gangster. Uh, if you are still watching, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.